Hi, I'm Susan Keefe from Rhubarb and Cot, and today I'm making Honeycrisp Gouda Grilled Cheese. Honeycrisp apples are considered to be the best eating apple. They're best enjoyed raw, in salads, or if you're me, covered in cheese. I like Honeycrisp apples in grilled cheese because their resilient crunch holds up against gentle heating. Their sweet flavor also pairs very well with the salty funk of cheese. So let's get started. Grilled cheese isn't complicated, but there are a few things you can do to ensure that every grilled cheese experience is a good one. Make sure you slice your apples thinly and make them relatively uniform in shape. I like to leave mine unpeeled for a pop of color. Use medium soft to medium hard cheeses for the best melt. This could be Fontina, Havarti, Cheddar, or Mozzarella. And you don't have to stay true to one cheese, you can mix and match to your heart's content. Today I'm using Gouda for its gooey capabilities and its nutty flavor that I feel complements the apples well. I'm also using a little bit of old cheddar for sharpness. This is an Irish white cheddar. Now let's talk bread. I went with a light rye because it toasts well and it has an herbal flavor. In a good grilled cheese, you want contrast. Now of course, you want to butter the exterior of the bread, but I also like to spread whole grain Dijon mustard on the interior. You can use any style of mustard you wish. What you're going for is that hit of acidity. It makes for a nice high note in the sandwich. Now we're going to go ahead and add a sprinkling of shredded gouda followed by a sprinkling of shredded cheddar. I prefer to shred my cheese because it decreases melting time. Now we're going to add our honey crisp apple. It will look like too much, but remember grilled cheeses can press quite a bit when they're introduced to heat. We're going to finish things off with a final sprinkling of both cheeses. You should aim for about 3 ounces or 85 grams of cheese per sandwich. Cheese is in the name, don't skimp on it. Add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil and melt in a pan until shimmering. Add the sandwich and cook until the cheese melts and the bread is golden. Make sure you keep the heat at medium low. You don't want to rush things along. You want to give the cheese enough time to melt without burning the bread. We're aiming for a nice amber color. Carefully flip the sandwich. This is truly the hardest part of the entire recipe. And repeat. And there you go. A honey crisp Gouda grilled cheese. Serve this guy immediately while the cheese is still out of control gooey. I hope you enjoy this one. Thank you so much for cooking with me.